What is up everyone? Welcome to the Side Swing Crossover Tutorial. I'm going to show you the exact steps in order to learn this skill as fast as possible. So grab your rope and let's do this. To start things off, as always, I'm using my cross rope jump ropes. Today I'll be in this tutorial, I'm using my limited edition freestyle rope from cross rope, but I love their interchangeable jump ropes the best. If you want to check them out, I got them linked with discounts down below. In order to successfully perform the side swing crossover, you need to master two different skills first, and that is the regular single side swing as well as the regular crisscross. If you need to check those out, I have them linked above. All right, so first things first, the, you're gonna notice when I'm performing this skill that I use a bit of a single leg hop when I'm performing this skill. You don't have to use this jump, but if it feels more comfortable and it feels like you get your legs through the loop better, then go ahead and do that. You'll notice when I do the single leg hop that whatever side I side swing to, I hop off of that leg. So when I side swing to the right, I hop off the right leg. Left, left leg. You can also just use a regular two-footed jump, and that works just fine as well. Whatever works best for you. All right, so the first thing that I want you to practice with this is not jumping the rope at all. If you've watched my crisscross tutorial, I have you starting by standing, cueing the rope up, and then as you bring it over and crisscross, you're trying to get that loop to catch right in the middle of your feet. Well, I want you to do the same thing for the side swing crossover, but now, we're just side swinging and bringing it across. The key here is as I go into this first side swing, you're gonna notice that I already have half of the crisscross done. The other half would just be this arm over. But since we're just doing a side swing, I'm here. The next step to the side swing crossover is I got the side swing done and as the rope comes back over, now I'm just, I'm gonna leave the crossed arm in place and then I'm gonna bring the other hand up and over. So what I want you to do is do that in one motion and then try to catch the loop in the middle of your feet. Just like that. So I want you to repeat that over and over again. Your dominant side, so if you're right-handed, your right side, your, your left-handed, your left side, is going to probably be stronger with this, but I want you to practice both sides because ultimately you want to be able to pr perform this skill on both sides. So one thing I do suggest beginners with this skill do is over exaggerate the up and over of the outside arm. So if I'm crossing, if I'm side swinging to my right hand side, I already have the arm crossed. As the rope comes up over, I'm kind of following it with my right arm, not at the shoulder. I'm, I'm not way over exaggerating with a huge movement. It's just a little bit with, from the elbow to make sure I'm really opening up that rope, that loop in order for me to jump through. So start with it a little exaggerated like this. And then as you get better with it, you're gonna be able to start making it much smaller. So again, I just want you to practice queuing it up, side swing up and over, catch. Side swing up and over, catch. Side swing up and over, catch. Once you start to get that down, then I wanna start incorporating the jump. Now you can, again, you can do it with a double foot jump or I like to use a little single leg hop. Because you're doing a side swing into the cross, you can see that the rope kind of comes at a little bit of an angle. So I just like to use, when I'm doing it faster, that one legged hop because it just allows a little bit of extra room on one side for the rope to get through without catching the side of my foot. All right, so as we begin to add the jump in, I want you to start slow because going too fast out the gate is only gonna cause trip ups and frustration. So, what I want you to start out doing is start right into a regular bounce. Nice and easy. And then when you're ready, enter into your first side swing and try to get that cross. And then start over. If it's not unsuccessful, that's okay. It happens to us all. Okay. And even if you can only do one, just practice getting one. So whatever side's your dominant, let's go for that side first. So we're just trying to get one. And then if you can open it back up, go ahead and just begin single unders again. So 
So one thing to remember is this is a technical skill. It's not a real difficult one, same as the crisscross, but it takes repetition and time practicing it in order to really groove your hand movement patterns in order to make sure that you're more successful every single attempt. So don't expect to be able to perform this skill this quickly right out the gate because you're, it's just not gonna happen. It takes time to get the movement pattern down. So make sure you start off nice and slow. I can't stress that enough. And if you need to over-exaggerate that hand movement, and then learn if you like the one foot hop or the double foot hop better, whatever feels best to you, whatever makes you more successful in your attempts. As you get better with the side swing crossover, you can start practicing transitions into and out of the skill and into other skills like the basic bounce, side swing, and crisscross. This is where it becomes a lot more fun and your freestyles can take on a whole new look. So if you need to learn the side swing or crisscross first, check out the video I have linked right over here. And if you want to learn a skill like the A skips, like shown here, I also have that video linked so you can learn this. I will see you in the next video.